tonight on The Fifth Estate. Get your knives and forks ready. This is the battle for your belly. It's garbage, right? You don't want to put garbage in your body. It will challenge what you believe about food. People want simple solutions to highly complex problems. And who you can trust. Dark corners, dark shadows, lies. Are we being fed the truth about what we eat? Is there anything inherently wrong with eating wheat? The short answer is no. And should we be more careful about what we put into our bodies and our minds? This is one of these arguments that has one smidgen of scientific fact to it, which is then exploded into a whole blob of nonsense. I'm Mark Kelly, and this is The Fifth Estate. Tonight, the war on wheat. Take a long look. What do you see growing in this field? A symbol of Canadian prosperity? The foundation of the world's diet for the past 10,000 years? Or do you see something darker? A toxin in a sheep's clothing. The foundation of many of the diseases that plague us. From diabetes to multiple sclerosis to breast cancer. What you see reveals which side of the war you're on. It's a cold January night in Halifax. The scene? Seasons Restaurant at the Atlantica Hotel. A private dinner is being prepared for a very select group. It's the perfect setting to talk about food. Especially the grain that's on everyone's lips, but nobody's plate. Over candlelight and red wine, the well-heeled discuss the future without wheat. Welcome to our restaurant. We're going to showcase food tonight that does not need any wheat whatsoever. Here sits Dr. William Davis, the world's most influential anti-wheat evangelist. He's changing not only what we eat, but how we see food. You know what bugs me? People are not given the full benefit of all the information that there really is available that empowers you in your own health, your family's health. This is, this is a salad. We have a lemon dressing. We have an avocado foam. Avocado foam. Yeah. No, that's avocado foam. For the uninitiated, like me, the evening is like a boot camp to galvanize the anti-wheat warriors. No beer, yes to wine. No pizza, no bagels, no bread. The dinner party conversation reveals how the trenches are being dug. Are you wheat free? Yeah. And what difference has it made for you? Background. Weight loss and energy. You, know, yeah. you wake up in the morning and you don't feel tired. I haven't drank beer in four and a half years. Yeah. That's a serious commitment to us. And it was because of the book. Yeah. Wow. You're a believer. The book they're all reading is Wheat Belly, written by Dr. Davis. It's the Bible of the wheat-free movement. Nearly three million copies of his book sold in 33 countries. More than 100 weeks on the New York Times bestseller list. Not a diet book, but a manifesto. The gospel according to Dr. Davis, wheat is killing us. We must fight back. Word spreads quickly he's in town. He's the author of the number one New York Times bestselling book, Wheat Belly Total Health. Please welcome Dr. William Davis. Like in city after city all across North America, hundreds of people show up for Dr. Wheatbelly's sermon about the sins of wheat and those who eat it. Can I get a little poll? Who's read Wheatbelly or at least seen some of our TV spots, etc., has some understanding? At first, Dr. Davis comes across like a friendly old uncle, sharing some homespun wisdom about wheat. I didn't set out on this path to make myself the enemy of wheat. I didn't say, I hate these darn grains, I'm going to pick on them and, and kick them. I really set out to help people empower themselves in health. But then things suddenly get serious. Wheat, he says, causes 70 to 80% of all known diseases. 